Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I film and edit my Instagram Reels. So if you want to see how I do that, then please keep watching. So to get started with, I use my iPhone SE, this is the new version, and I use the front camera, not the back camera, just so I can see what I'm doing properly. And I also use the app InShot to edit. It is honestly amazing. It is so, to say it's free or that you can actually get a free version, I feel like you can do so much with it. So I just want to show you my setup. So I have this ring light. I'm just going to turn it down a little bit so it's not blinding. I go onto my phone, onto video mode. I will link this ring light in the description below. But I turn this bit that holds your phone on an angle to the side. So I'm gonna be doing my right eye, so I'm pushing this away from my eye. I hope it makes sense. So I'm just clipping my phone in. So what I will do to film is it will be facing me, I can see myself in the camera, and I will be like this. <laughs> this is Millie, guys, if you're new here. <laughs> so she often tries and comes sits with me when I'm filming. If I'm not filming, honestly, she's not even interested when I'm in my makeup room. Um, but I've just literally started filming and of course she's woken up and she wants cuddles. So anyway, before you get started with filming your eyeshadow tutorial, do your base makeup, do your eyebrow, put on some eyeshadow base so that everything else in the shot will look really nice and flawless. I prefer as well to have my hair down if I can. Sometimes just having it like down it just kind of smooths off the angle a bit in the camera. Obviously if you've got super short hair or anything like that, it doesn't that matter that much. This is just literally personal preference. But just apply your bronzer and blusher but just leave out your highlighter. I like to save that until we finish the look as I feel like it really does finish everything off and give it that impact. Once we're happy with how your base is looking, check in your phone camera with it all set up and see how it looks. See if you need to go in anywhere else with any extra product. Just see how it's looking. You might even want to do like a test video. When also you're filming, if you are having your hair down, just make sure there's no little hairs coming onto your eyes. It just sometimes, you might be so happy with the look and you watch back the video and you're like, oh my gosh, there's like one annoying hair right in the middle of my eye and it's just so off-putting. So sometimes it's good to also do a bit of a test run and just check things back before you finish up filming. I'm going to start shooting now and you can probably see in the camera my ring light. I've tried to angle it as much as I can so you can see what I'm doing. So whatever the first step is, we're going to do that now. So I've already got my eyeshadow primer on and I'm going to start filming. So my face is in the centre of the camera. You will be able to see this. I'll put it up on the screen now. And I'm literally just patting on my eyeshadow, doing the first step for the eyeshadow look we're going to be doing. And I'm not zooming in. I'm literally just making sure that my eyebrows ra is raised. And I'm watching with my other eye what it is that I'm doing. Once you've filmed the first part of the first step, we're then just off camera going to go over looking in a mirror and just checking that we've done that first step how we want to. Once we've completed the first step, we're going to refilm it and we're just going to kind of mimic that movement just to show what we've done on camera, but we're not actually doing anything at that point. I hope this is making sense. Now I'm just going to finish off the tutorial. So just show you how I edit. I'm going into InShot and then I'm selecting every single video from that we've filmed. And I'm creating one long video of this. So as you can see we've got 2 minutes 43 seconds of footage and actually we need it to be about 15 seconds. So as you can see, I'm very zoomed out here. So what we're gonna do is just go through all the clips and we're just gonna zoom them in to where we want them. So clicking on the canvas tool, I'm zooming in and I kinda want my nose to be at the bottom of the screen, my hair to be at the top. Now we've got everything zoomed in, I've gone through and done every single clip, we're just going to go through and find the clips that we actually want. So I'm using the split tool 
deleting anything that we don't want. Um, let's just take in a second of a clip of the shot we want. And then I'm going to delete it once I'm happy. Might use that clip instead actually. So I'm just literally going through now and getting parts of each step that I want. I'm also keeping an eye on the time at the bottom to see how long the whole thing is going to be. Remembering for reels we don't want it longer than 15 seconds. So you may need to go in with clips and just adjust them once you've already zoomed in. So like this one I'm just moving more to the side. So another thing I just want to show you is if you click on canvas you can either, you can use all these ratios. So if we were making this an eyeshadow tutorial just like an Instagram grid post we could have it one to one or four to five. If I like to though for reels use the TikTok grid which is nine to sixteen perfect works great um, and it just makes sure that you know what's actually going to be on the screen so you're not going to edit something and then go to upload it and actually realise that like half your eyes cut off or something <laughs> so once we're happy we're going to save it so just watch it through on your phone check it all looks right if it doesn't go back in and edit it so I'm just going to show you how that looks now so here is the finished video. So I hope this video has helped give you guys a bit of an insight to how I edit and film my Azure tutorials, especially for Instagram Reels. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up so I know and I can make more videos like this. And please subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all again very, very soon. Have a lovely day.